Uh, Rachel, this is uh, Mr. Stiles. Nice Rachel, to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you, Rachel. Nice to meet you too, sir. So, look, so what we have here is a, ge a geological map of the River site. And in this, of course, the way you've seen it, it's been explained to me in the research that I've done, there's some geology problems in the area with karst terrain and uh, sinkholes in the area. The area blocked in is the area where the uh, reactors are starting to go in. This is kind of a matchup of, uh, of information, all from TVA and all from New Power. Uh, of course, the embedding planes of the site are outlined in this map. Of course, there's a sinkhole. There's two, one large sinkhole here, another large sinkhole here. How do you see? Uh, is there going to be interference with karst terrain there? And of course, you've got limestone, you have siltstone letting up each, against each other. And you, you see that where well, that's going to be a problem. It's going to, how will you engineer around that karst terrain problem? Of course, this is an underground facility. Oh, it is. Uh, we have done an extensive characterization, and like you're pointing out here, the, the, uh, uh, there is an extensive number of core borings below what was previously anticipated to be the power blocks for different U.S. like water reactor vendors. So one of them is BMWM power. Okay. Another is Full Tech. Another is New Scale. And another is Westing. And they have different size reactors. BMW was 180, now it's 195 megawatt. Two unit plant. So this was uh, consistent with deployment of four Empower units, would look something like this. New Scale uh, has a 50 megawatt unit. They, their design has 12 units in one building. Uh, one building of 12 units could fit over either of those power block areas. Is the cooling, or in case of emergency shutdown, is this a passive system or is this a, a, a pump system for cooling? Or is each design different? Each design is different. Some designs use reactor cooling pumps that you know, are relied on for power for power generation during normal operation and not relied on for cooling in the emergencies. Does that make sense? Like some designs are just natural circulation. So there are no pumps. Both active and passive, they, the cooling flow is driven by features such as gravity. Do you see a problem with uh, anything about this site? No. I think it's a good site. How? What is the distance between this side of the river and this side of the river? Do you know? I don't know that number all day. I, you know, the one end to the other is uh, less than a mile, but more than half a mile. I got you. I got you. Do you, sir, do you recall off the top of your head about any moorings of or was there any instrumentation into that sinkhole that's mixed on this map? I don't know. I'm not familiar with specific sinkholes or sure. I know that there's an extensive characterization of karst formations in right. early sinkhole right. applications. Uh, of course, this is a site specific map here. But as, as you move on on toward the uh, the mountain range back over here, so to speak, then you start worrying about earthquake models. Oh, there's a fault line, major. Actually, it's not a major fault line, but it's an ancient fault line that runs through this area. Uh, what's your thoughts on the fault fault line in that area as far as an underground facility being susceptible to ground movement as a result of an earthquake, say, point, or five? So I, I know that we've done uh, seismic analysis. I don't, I don't know how to translate that into what you're asking me. Right. Uh, again, that's another large section of the early site permit application with a lot of detail. Uh, you know, we have contracted with uh, seismic experts, uh, and we. This is an area that we have also had uh, independent verification, and so I'm. 
it, it quickly gets uh, above my level of understanding. And, uh, but you know, I feel pretty confident we've had a lot of smart people looking at this, and, it, and I know that this is a, a large section of our application. Thanks. I appreciate the time. You're welcome. Really good. Thank you.